When you log in to CAPPM, you will be presented with this screen which is a tiled list of projects showing various information such as milestones, financials and schedule. The four icons at the bottom of each tile allows quick navigation to the projects. The expand arrow on the left hand side allows you to see what each of the icons refer to in a narrative format. The notification bell over the right hand side gives a list of conversations where you have been mentioned. If you click on one of them, you will be shown that conversation thread and you will be able to reply and or attach documents directly. You can also navigate directly into the relevant element, whether this is a task, project, risk, etc. Under the settings arrow, you are able to change your profile picture by uploading a new picture or removing the existing one. Under the general, you can also specify units of measure you want to see on project staff either hours or FTE. If you have access to staffing you can change settings here including the start period for viewable roads, unit of measure FTE or hours, numerical precision, span of time periods for telescope functionality and thresholds for showing under and over allocation. This is covered in more detail in a separate resource management video. You can create a new project by pressing this button and if you want to view the tasks you are working on then click the My Tasks link on the right hand side. This will show you a list of tasks together with the project that they belong to. Who else is working on these? And whether they are late, red in colour. You can go directly to conversations from these tasks. When filled in blue, this signifies that a conversation already exists on this task. In the flyout window, if you have access, you can modify the to-dos. And you can also modify who else is working on this task under the team. You can also see the detail on the task in terms of start date and end dates and any other information. If you need to be able to view tasks in a portal that are not your own, then use the task link. In this screen, you are able to filter by team member, project and status. You can also add extra attributes onto the screen and then save multiple views. These can have different filters and or attributes. You can also change the way the money and numbers look on the views also. On the project tiles, you can filter on Project OBS, Project Type, Work Status, Project Manager and Active Status. For a general user, you may want to view the projects you are working on or are a team member on. In this case, click on the team member, find yourself and clear the other filter. This will then result in a list of projects you are working on. There are four ways to administer tasks in CAPPM. You can navigate directly for the task by clicking the tick icon. This view is the normal list view, two levels of tasks. Drag and drop of the task between phases is possible. The task board view allows teams to work in a Kanban fashion. Simply drag and drop between custom defined columns. Edit properties such as color, owner directly. Create conversations on the task using app mentions and attachments if required. Create granular to do's against the task. Add more people to work on the task from the team. Change specific elements of the task such as date, status, owner. 
and you can also use Gantt View or Scheduler such as MS Project or Open Workbench. Status reporting allows you to record narratives and KPIs for each week or month against your project. You can then preview this as an inline report. And once this has appeared, you can then publish in the center stakeholders. You can create links which are relevant to each of your projects, either internal or external, and divide these into sections. For instance, a Dropbox site for your project. You can create financial plans and display or hide relevant information, such as planned, actuals, time spent, etc., and show different comparisons. You can also change the settings of the cost plan, so that you can, for instance, change the time period display, a name or description, or time span. You can copy the existing plan or delete or repopulate from the allocations or assignments. You can drill down on the actuals to see granular detail of what makes up the high level totals and filter accordingly. The grouping view can be changed as simply as dragging the columns across. This is very handy if you have multiple dimensions on the cost plan. You can also list all of the plans you have for a project and create a new one with different periodicity and dimensions. Full RIC capability is possible, enabling the creation and maintenance of risks, issues and change requests. You can insert a row or delete by right-clicking on a particular risk. You can also just simply add a new risk and then complete details across the screen. Other attributes can be added onto the list including custom attributes and similarly attributes can be hidden. Issues follow a similar method of input to risks. Conversations functionality is also possible across the full RIC meaning attachments can be added to fully quantify risks, issues and changes. Documents can also be stored against the projects, allowing creation of folders, easy navigation and searching of your documents, all in one place. Roles and resources can be booked to the project through the staff link. The resources and roles are presented in a grid format and similar to other parts of the system, attributes can be added and removed using the link on the right hand side. Allocation details, booking status, open for time requested manager and user defined fields amongst others can be amended on this list screen. If you have financial rights, the capitalisation percentage can also be amended. Blueprints allow you to be able to change the way projects look in terms of the tile visuals, modules displayed and attributes available to be completed. There can be several blueprints and if a project template is associated with this blueprint, then when a project is created from that template, it inherits these characteristics. Blueprints can be copied to act as a basis for a new one and templates reassigned to these for resulting new projects. When you click on the blueprint, you can see the characteristics in terms of the details, modules and visuals. And when in edit mode, you can then start adding 
or removing attributes from the canvas. You can also create new sections and move existing attributes underneath those even if they're already on the canvas. The visuals affect what is displayed on the project tiles. It's a simple case of dragging and dropping the required visuals. The modules affect what functionality is available in the project. Not all projects are the same, so some may require risks and issues to be tracked, or perhaps some are just for recording tasks in a task board and having conversations between team members. The choice is entirely yours. You can then publish the changes which will affect all of the projects using this blueprint or discard the edits or just exit to allow editing some more later without affecting current projects using these. Roadmap planning focuses on a top-down approach rather than the more traditional bottom-up approach of portfolio planning. It's intended to be lightweight, collaborative and visual. You can import items from the projects in the system, either by OBS or individually. You can also load from a CSV file to have indicative pipeline shown for planning purposes. A sync option is available to keep information up to date when you require. You can have multiple scenarios in a roadmap and use these for comparison in real time, viewing the differences signified by the Delta icon. You can filter for items in a roadmap. You can zoom in on the timeline and set the periodicity and change how swim lanes are organised and also create your own via pick lists and set the colourisation. Also set what metrics you want to show on the roadmap and if the items span more than the roadmap time length the metrics can be clipped rather than show whole of life values. Save multiple views of this information so that you can see this how you want and not others. Record the high level details of the roadmap. Change where the item starts in category by simple drag and drop. Use the board view to organise items in a Kanban style and drag into the categories. And finally there is a spreadsheet view together with targets. These are set as either goals or constraints on money and number roadmap items. For example, benefits, capital or operating costs. Custom fields can also be included. New attributes can be pulled onto the view, or if existing ones are not required, these can be removed from the view. These items can be relocated on the screen and edited in line. And if there is a link to a CAPPM project, then you can drill directly to the project, make changes to the project, and then navigate easily back to the roadmap. For items that have been added as placeholders, these can be easily linked to PPM projects once this has been established in the system. In the staffing screens, this allows you to allocate people to projects or set up new work requests to create demand in the system. This is covered in more detail in the resource management set of videos. When you click on the timesheet icon, if you have already entered some time for this week, it will show your timesheet ready to be changed and submitted. If this is not created, then it will give you the option to create. This is covered in more detail in the timesheet creation video. That concludes the video on the overview of CAPPM version 15.4.1. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.